Hey guys, Tarka Cyclone FPV. Um, I'm actually getting some wipes here so I can clean the table off. So I'm gonna run something by you guys. Um, I had a couple people write me because they said in the videos, like they're curious about, oh my gosh, can, don't you have to have an antenna on your VTX and blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, you know, you do. I mean, you do, but I mean, you, you, you don't have to, it's not the end of the world. You just, you know, you need to be careful about it and stuff. But I've had some feedback and some guys are like, no, you know, this is not a good idea. And, and I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But uh, let's not blow things out of proportion. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually setting up right now. Um, let me get this going here real quick. Okay, so I'm actually going to set up right now a Panda. I'm, I'm testing the products anyway for Panda RC. Not that they have – I'm not paid to do it. I'm actually buying – I've bought them. So um, – and as you guys know, I do not accept anything for free. So uh, I've paid for these. And now I'm going to test them, and I figured what better way to do this than to go ahead and just put it through one of the worst tests, and that is going to be to leave it on without any movement, any cooling, or any um, antenna. Okay, we're going to see what happens. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn the board up real quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now. All right, so now we've got our, our power set now. Okay guys, so uh, here we go. We are now, uh, clock says it's 2.35. I think we started around 2.05, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So let me see if I can make this work. What the heck am I doing? One, hold on, one, two, three. Yeah, let's go over there. Okay, so uh, let's see, it's that way, that way. All right, so you've got the clock right there, right? And then uh, one more over, you've got the actual screen and the, and the VTX. So let's take a temperature reading now and let's see where we're at, okay? So right now, and I'm going to tell you, it's hot because, I mean, I can't keep... Whoo, my sucker's hot. All right, so here it goes. Let me go ahead and tag this real quick. 
I'm going to scan to get a good temperature, hopefully. You know what? I thought I had the laser thing. Hold on a second. I think I've got one that's got a laser pointer on it. Just so I can get right on the hot spot. So hold me a sec. Let me see if I can find that. Yep, I do. All right, so let's get this one and see what we got here, okay? So, ready? And we will put the laser pointer on here. See if we can get a reading. Let me see if I can get up here a little bit. So we're at 181. And I want to say that with this one here, I probably got the similar. I think this one's a little bit hotter, but I can't pinpoint it on this one. I was hoping to hit 190, but it looks like the highest here is going to be about 189. All right, so that's going all over the place. So. I think it's safe to say that we're probably around 189, right? So let's assume that that's it, all right? So we're at 189 degrees, uh, it's hot, all right? Um, we've got our video, we ran it uh, based on the Panda RC website, the three green lights indicate that we are on 600 milliwatts. So we ran it full power, which is what this does, is 600 milliwatts. Uh, we show from our screen here that we've had video the whole time, and it is hot, okay, don't get me wrong. But at over 30 minutes of not moving, and at full power, with no antenna, uh, we've been broadcasting fine. Okay, now um, I'm gonna I can I can take this and see. I'm not sure how far I would go with this uh, because you, I, I would be off camera. And you wouldn't be able to see me. But, but the point being, I'm trying to tell you is there's this, there's been this panic, right? This panic of oh my god, you know you forgot the antenna. It's been three minutes. Oh my god, you forgot. It's been one minute, two minutes. Look, I get it. But at the same time, I think there's the reality needs to set in that hey, we're, we're not even cooling this thing. It's not moving. We've been putting 11.9 volts to it the whole time. We've been pumping out at 600 milliwatts the whole time. And yeah, I could get the meter and read where my, where my, um, you know, uh, where my decibel range is right now. I'm not even going to worry about it because what the purpose of this one is to show that, hey, this thing isn't broken and it, and it did last. So while it is not recommended to run a VTX without the antenna, obviously, the, this over, uh, this whole thing about, oh my God, you were on a video and it was two minutes and you didn't put it, don't power it up, you don't have your antenna, ah man, relax, okay? If your thing breaks that quickly, it's the product that's at fault at that point because these are made to, <coughs> to handle. And <coughs> I wanna say there's a couple other publications out there from last year and the year before where other guys did the same thing. But it seems to be that, you know, people wanna hit my video sometimes or hit another, I watched somebody else's video and they forgot to plug in the antenna just to power up their quad, just to make sure that it, the smoke stopper worked and if people like blasting it, missing the whole point, all right? So look, at the end of the day, guys, I think it's safe to say that, um, Let's just assume that you're gonna be okay. And while I would not run it for 30 minutes like we did, I wanted to prove that point to you guys. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free always hit me up at targetcyclingfpv.com and please always subscribe and follow. Your support always helps us, okay? Other than that, guys, God bless. Safe flying and make sure to spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have with them, so make the most of it while you can. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.